Hi everyone and welcome to part 13 of my God of War 3 Remastered Edition No Upgrade Run Playthrough. We are on the pits of Tartarus and we're gonna face uh, Kronos, the, the Titan. So Kronos is not really that hard and it works kind of like a level if you remember, if you ever play Shadow of the Colossus for PlayStation 2, it, it kind of feels like that. I mean, not at all because actually uh, Kronos is really, really huge. So it actually feels like a level when you're uh, navigating through his body. Uh, this it's not a really di direct fight. You just have to navigate uh, to, through his body and make it to his uh, head and kill him so not not really at all uh, difficult even for an upgrade run you just have to be careful of a certain part uh, when you're hanging and you have his hand and you're supposed to kill enemies or <coughs> when you are uh, supposed to evade uh, an attack that he does with his hands that kills you automatically you don't have to go to sanctuary sorry I'm yelling I'm kinda tired so these are enemies that pop up in the way I'm sure you can skip them if you want to I have to say the most annoying fight that, uh, that I had because I, I mentioned that I, that I fought Scorpius uh, and you're gonna see it in, in, a, in a later episode I'm not sure which episode uh, probably it's going to be uh, episode 16 yeah so but it's not even I mean Scorpius really got me in a lot of rage and anger Cursed it, cursed the fucking developer who who thought that that was a good idea and so on and so forth. But if I will have to say the most annoying, uh, the most annoying part of the game, besides the flying sequences, the talking of combat, the most annoying combat in the game. There has to be no doubt the two satyrs in the hallway in the garden of uh, Hera. No fucking doubt. No fucking doubt in my heart, in my mind. Uh, see, because they position the, the satyrs in a way that they fuck you up, because if they, if they would give you a huge room to fight them, you wouldn't have that that much of an issue, but since they if they hit you twice, you're dead. And they do this move when they hang from the from the from the wall, and they drop on top of you. And they, that that move is unblockable because they grab you from your head with a with a sphere, and they swing you around. You cannot block this. You can block this if you move further away from when it's going to land but you have another satyr attacking you at the same time so you sometimes you don't you can't move because the other satyr combos you and you're dead anyways uh, so it's a fucking nightmare that 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 whole battle is a fucking nightmare and you're going to see how I how I went through it uh, it, it not in this episode in another episode but yeah, that, that's gotta be the most annoying fight ever. Uh, I had to repeat it and repeat it until I, I ended up doing what, I, what you're gonna what you're going to see. So here you just got to uh, uh, rip his uh, nail from his finger. Careful with the soldiers, of course. There. I'm doing a square, triangle, and uh, square. So 
so the triangle attack actually launches enemies so they don't bother me there we go so now we gotta do this nasty nasty thing to Kronos now it's gonna land its hand in, and we have to be in the in the there and climb it climb the finger I think we have to use the the head of of uh, Helios again and now we are on his side and we have more traversal fighting so I guess uh, when I said there was almost no traversal fighting I forgot about this entire boss fight even though they could be considered not a boss fight I'm yawning while I'm talking that's why I sound like that even though this could be considered not a boss fight uh, I'm going to call it a boss fight and I'm going to make it a separate video because it kinda, it kinda is so we're gonna, have, we're gonna have the end of this fight and we're gonna have uh, the death of Hephaestus, the smith god we're gonna be receiving the nemesis, nemes, nemesis whip which is a horrible weapon, I never liked it not horrible in, in not horrible in its usage, usage or, or, or uh, abilities I guess fully upgraded but well, I'm sure it's good but uh, for an upgrade run it has almost no fucking use so I'm going to be rotating between the blades of exile and the man Cestus I have to say, I've been testing the Nemean Cestus and in strike capabilities uh, with base damage, I will have to say the Nemean Cestus feels a lot uh, stronger. I mean, I've downed, uh, and you're gonna see in the fight against the seven Minotaurs, I've downed Minotaurs in, in, in a couple of strikes when with uh, Blades of Exile I, I, it takes a lot longer. So. I will have to confirm that the Nemean Ancestus is actually stronger. Unupgraded. Maybe this is oh, this. Already, people already know this, and I'm confirming something that people already know. But you have to understand, guys. I I, I never play an upgrade run, so I never tested this. So. In the normal game, I don't remember if I ever used the enemy ancestors. I mean, uh, I remember I used them a little, but I always prefer to blaze. So now you have to fight the, some enemies. Sorry for all the yawning, guys. I, I'm yawning. I'm not really bored of, of making the commentary or or or. or, or, or so or making the video or whatever and not, not get the, don't get the wrong idea I'm just really really tired but really really tired I've, I've been sleeping terrible lately very few hours so probably wanna end the, this commentary and go to bed so we have to use the again the Oh no, we have to do some more travels, okay. And probably we're going to have to use the the head of Helios again. There is nothing to see on the on, on the cinema. I I like cinema. I I, I usually go to see some movies. But I have to say, it's been a long time since I went. Uh, what was the last movie I went to see? Was it Interstellar? Was it that long? I guess. Now, now you have to run, guys. I'm rambling. Now you have to run. Escape from his hand. It's really short. Now we have a battle scene. 
we have creature. So a horrible creature that's going to come from his uh, shoulder, I guess. We have we are on his shoulders now. Yeah, there we go. That that should that must be a cyclops. Yeah, a, a, a cyclops berserker without his skin, I guess. So really weird. He hit me a couple of times, but look at look at the power of the demon sisters when I actually hit him. I'm on one hit death here. Oh my god! I don't know. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Soldiers. I'm going to have to use the soldiers. Oh, th there we go. So we're gonna mount him, and what we have to do is open the wound in his arm. Just, just attack the arm, the, the shoulder. I mean. And oh, there we go. Ball quick time, guys. Yay! So now Kratos is going to attack the Cyclops that's actually uh, sustaining him from plunging into death. I never really understood that. And now he's gonna swallow us. And this is uh, this is some traversal. You have to move uh, right and left. And then keep pushing down. Don't stop. Or you will face certain doom. But there, are th this fight is is full of checkpoint guys. It's, it's, it, it, every time we move to a different part of his body, we have a checkpoint. So not to worry about the checkpoints. Although I have to say, in the fucking uh, Scorpius fight, you only have one entire checkpoint in the entire fight. From beginning to end. And the boss has two different phases. And the second phase is even worse than the first. Really. Remember when I was praising the checkpoints? Well, let's just say that I don't praise them in so much anymore. They are pretty good, but oh man, they fucked up that fight. They fucked up the boss. They fucked up the fight. They fucked up everything about that uh, boss battle. Really weird. So much, so much incredible scenes. So much incredible set pieces and and, and bosses and enemies and, and good moments. I mean, the game is is incredible. Is it still, it still looks amazing. It still uh, plays amazing, and you don't, you, you don't have games like this nowadays. You have all those games that have so much story in it that you have to fucking almost watch a movie, an interactive movie. But this is an amazing game, and to have a boss like that, such a bad idea. And so bad, badly implemented. My God, I, I'm really going to criticize it, the, that boss when we get to it. I'm going to have to bend all the anger somehow. <laughs> so there it goes. We kill Kronos. Supposedly Cronus is the father of all of, uh, of Zeus, Poseidon and Hades, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I must have missed when some game actually explained this, because I, I, I don't want to think that the game didn't explain that fact. I don't remember. 
But whatever. We're gonna fall down into Hephaestus' chamber again. This is edited because there's a lot of talking. And then we're gonna have a sort of uh, fight with Hephaestus. And you're gonna see why I call it sort of. It's just a bunch of quick time events. And at, 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 at the last time, at the last moment, we have to activate a pedestal. Last the Nemesis sweep. It, it has electric attacks. And I'm not gonna use it, except for this part. And there he goes. Four assists. My beautiful Pandora. <laughs> Please spare her. Pandora. Forgive me. Well, there he goes. We're gonna be grabbing the. Oh, they're gonna make us test the, the Demesis Whip. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. So we're gonna test new weapon, and then we're gonna gra grab the Hephaestus ring, which is the the relic that does the quick time events for you. But I can't really use it, so I'm going to st still be doing all the quick time events myself, which is uh, bothering. It's really bothering, especially again in the Scorpius fight when at the beginning you have to press L1 and R1 repeatedly. Yeah, I had to do that like 50 times. So we are done with part 13. As always, thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see each other in part 14. Take care.